Hey, this is Justin from First Tech, and today we're gonna demo how to connect your smartphone to your Memento dash cam. The first thing we need to do is open the Memento dash cam app. As soon as you open the app, you'll be prompted to connect to either a Memento M8 or Memento M7 Wi-Fi dash cam. When you tap the connect button, you'll be prompted to activate the Wi-Fi network on your Memento dash cam. You can do this by tapping the Wi-Fi button on the camera. Now you'll need to select the dash cam that you want to connect to. In this case, I've already connected to this dash cam, so it appears in the app. If this is your first time setting up your dash cam, you'll need to go into your phone settings into the Wi-Fi section. From there, you'll need to look for your M8 camera, and then you will need to enter the Wi-Fi password, which is by default 12345678. Once you're connected to your dash cam on your phone, you'll need to go back to the Memento app and select the camera again. From here, we can see that there's many options on what we can do in the dash cam app. We can jump into a live view to see what the camera sees in real time, or we can download a video from the gallery. Let's take a look in the gallery. So the first thing you'll notice is that there's multiple categories. There's driving, there's driving events, parking, and parking events. The type of recording that we're gonna look at today is a manual recording that we grabbed. So one important note is that when you're previewing videos in the Memento app, the video is compressed. When you download the video, it'll be downloaded in its full resolution so that you can enjoy the full quality of your video. To download a video, simply tap the thumbnail of your choice and then press the download button at the bottom of the screen. For most videos, this process should take one to two minutes. Even when the download is complete, it's not going to show up yet in your photo library. You have to do one more step. Select that video again and then tap the share icon at the bottom of the screen. You can select which video channels you want to export from the Dashcam app. In this case, I'm just going to export the front. Once you've done that, you can either save the video to your photo library, send it as a message, or share it on social media. Please note that if you're saving the video to your photo library, the Memento Dashcam app will ask permission to access that part of your phone. The last thing that I want to show you that you can do in the Memento Dashcam app is adjust settings. This can be really helpful for changing how sensitive your Dashcam is, or reallocating memory from driving footage to parking footage. And most importantly, you can download important firmware updates for your Memento dash cam to improve your experience. We hope that this video was helpful for you. If you're interested in more content like this about Memento dash cams, make sure to follow our YouTube channel at Memento Cam. If you're interested in buying a Memento dash cam for your vehicle, find an authorized dealer near you at www.mementocam.com. Thanks for watching.